Hey everyone, this is Mike Andes, and you are listening to episode 121 of the Business Bootcamp Podcast. You might be listening on YouTube, Stitcher, iTunes, wherever you're at. I want to say a big thank you. Our sponsor today is LandscapeBusinessCourse.com. That is a course I made for landscapers and people who own lawn care and service-based businesses. Definitely want to check it out, LandscapeBusinessCourse.com. You can sign up for a free webinar, and in that webinar, I drop lots of value. I don't just you know, pitch my product, which is the course. Uh, I give lots of value on the five things that keep service-based businesses small. And I also talk about how I built my business to $100,000 in month, um, a month in revenue, starting when I was 17 or 18 years old, and in three years I did that. So, let's get businesscourse.com. All right, so today, uh, today I I had thought about something. It's uh, professionally... When, it, when you come, when you talk about professionally and what you're doing in your business and you're doing in your career, the one thing, there's one thing between you, where you are at now, where you're at now, and where you want to be, and that's work. And I find so many entrepreneurs come to me for advice, ask for how to start, grow, or save their business, which is great. Love your questions, but they're not willing to put in the work. That's what it comes down to. Like, let's just let's just go live here. All right, it is eight forty six right now. I'm showing the camera. Sorry, I got a little loud on the mic. Eight forty six p.m. on a Saturday. All right, I'm just gonna let the camera focus there. Saturday night, eight forty six. Just got home from the office, walked upstairs, and said, "All right, let's uh, get this podcast on the road." Uh, yeah, it's eight forty six. I was at the office today. Before 7.30, 7.15 I think it was. And woke up at, I don't know, 6 or whatever. But went to the office. So it was like, what, a 13, 14, almost, almost like 13 and a half hours of the office. Like, that's a Saturday. The one thing between where you're at now and where you want to be is work. And if you're willing to do it, if you're willing to put in the work, you will get to where... <clears throat> you want to be. All right. So that's kind of the theoretical thing I wanted to share with you all that inspirational coming to you live from business bootcamp podcast. Now we do have a question today. I want to answer coming on email. And if anyone out there has questions on how to start, grow, or save their business and you want to get on the show, send them to business bootcamp podcast at gmail.com as a video. You can send them as an audio note on the website. You can send an email via text on the on the website. You can send regular email via text. But I would love to have videos so we can make this content on YouTube a little bit more exciting by putting your face on there. So just shoot a video, selfie it up, and uh, send that to businessbootcamppodcast at gmail.com or on Facebook. Uh, check us out and make sure... Send your video on how to start, grow, or save your business. I'd love to answer those for you. So, um, what's rolling right now? What's rolling with me right now is we are technically supposed to be wrapping, like slowing down our business right now. Uh, it's October. Which for most people, it's like, oh, it's time to slow down. We are crazy busy. This is the busiest time of the year. Like, it's the craziest thing in the world. Uh, we had a massive job today, and then next weekend we were like, whenever we're booking weekends, we're busy, and when you're booking weekends and renting equipment for the weekend, because you don't have enough skid steers and whatever, you know you're busy. So we're very busy, and that's uh, what we've been doing, so lots of really big landscaping jobs and excavation and grading and stuff like that, so that's where we're at, and, uh... That's what I talk a lot about on landscapebusinesscourse.com. So check it out. But right now, I don't know. The reason I was so fired up to do this episode today at almost 9 o'clock p.m. was two things. Number one, let me share this with you. The first year that I started, or the first, I mean, like the first, when I say first year, it was within the first three months that I started the podcast, an online blogger wrote a review on the podcast that has kind of been the spark to keep me going this whole time. 
they said that my answers, my business answers were shallow and surface. Those were their exact words. And so I guess sometimes if you have, if you have something like that someone says against you, like you can use it as a chip on your shoulder to get things done. And so that's what I've done. Like we're on episode 121. So we've probably done almost 100 episodes since they wrote that blog post. And uh, you know what's funny is one bad comment, it seems like it erases about 100 good comments, right? And so I already had great comments from people who listen to the show. But then you get this one blogger that just ruins your day, right? But you can use it as a chip on your shoulder just to channel your, channel your energy. And uh, so that's one thing. Number two thing, uh, luck. Someone emailed me today. And they say, you are so lucky. And I get it. Like, I think I'm blessed. Like, I think there's a difference between blessed and lucky. Lucky, it falls into your lap. Blessed, you're given the platform to do something great, but work is still required. That's the difference. And I don't know. Like, I don't know how many 21-year-olds could put in a 13 or 14-hour day come back, produce more content, and I'll be working here for another few more hours on the website and the podcast and answering people's questions and working with sponsors and working on the webinar that we're going to have next week. Like, if if people are really, if they really want success, they're going to have to put in the work. It just depends on how much you want it. And so people can call me lucky, and I'm totally cool with that, like, I am lucky, I'm blessed, whatever you want to call it. Very, very much so. Family, uh, health, you just can go right down the line. Given great opportunities, but it's Saturday at 9 o'clock and we're still rolling. So you've got to put in the work to get to from where you're at now to where you want to be. One thing in between that little section there is work. Okay. Before I get started, I'm going to read this question that came from Sharday on email on how to grow her business. I was just looking at my sticky note thing that I keep here. And you'll notice if you're watching this on YouTube, I always have like random stuff on my desk that I play with, like keys and all sorts of stuff. But on here, the other day I was listening, uh, I was actually like, like, I always try to learn something new about business every day. Re, re, was reading the news or business articles or listening to a keynote, whatever it is. And I was I was thinking about, like, you know how gyms are such a big deal right now? Like, you have Anytime Fitness and all these gyms, franchises. I think that, in, uh, like, meditation is going to be the mental health gym that we've seen in the past 15, 20 years of, like, Anytime Fitness and all these massive gyms. Like, gyms are everywhere. It's going to be, like, a place where you can go and you can relax, you can meditate, they all have like classes and like all that stuff. So like I drew my own little blueprint, I'm showing YouTube my sketch right now, of what that sort of place would be. Like over here you got personal rooms for meditation, you got a large class for like corporate events in the front here. When the people walk in this whole place can be manned by one person because this this, the big room is governed by a massive screen where you can have recorded events going on. And then you got just a desk with lockers and it's all controlled by a key fob. I just drew that up. I'm not going to actually do it. But I think that the anytime fitness of the next two, three decades is going to be meditation for mental health stuff. And it's going to be like the Starbucks of gyms. So that's my opinion. Okay, so Sharday. Sharday wrote in, she has a website called foodfortheskin.com. Check it out. Sharday says, uh, okay, she got my book. She's loving it so far. She says, I'm so impressed with the results you've received in your first business at such a young age. Okay, she said, I would love advice on how to grow my business. I graduated in 2012 my, with my bachelor's in business administration. Okay, we got to digress. We have to digress from this question to answer, say one thing. I had two classes that I had to finish for my MBA, and it's really lame, because I did not know months ago when I took these classes in the MBA program that you had to get over a B minus in order to pass the class. I did not know that. So I would get by like with 
there was two classes um, where I just got like a C just because I, I just wanted to pass the class and it was not stuff I was interested in. Okay, it was microeconomics and it was uh, uh, statistics. I didn't feel like they were relating to me in any way, shape, way, shape or form. And so I just, I was like, okay, I'll just pass the class. Well, guess what? When I tried to graduate, like, the last year, they're like, oh, yeah, you're going to have to take those classes again. I was like, oh, my word. So I had started taking stats this quarter because I was like, okay, I'm so close to finishing. I just got to get this done. Well, I just decided to drop out. So officially, I'm a MBA dropout. Um, and I think this is going to be, like, the fuel on my fire and, like, my my anger retaliation against modern education and higher education. Like, I, I'm the quintessential academic student. Started when I was 13 years old in college. Had got my, my bachelor's degree. Started my MBA. Was gonna, I would have had it before I was 21. Like, I would have been 20 when I graduated with my MBA. Uh really cool, right? I am so against higher education for anyone that's in business. Really, really. Like, I think you can cut your teeth and get more experience from going and working with a startup or starting your own business, like, by hundredfold than going to a business school. Like, of course, yes, lawyers, doctors, whatever, you got to go to school, like, if that's your dream. But I'm not talking to lawyers. I'm not talking to people who want to go to medical school here on the show. I'm talking to business people and small business owners, and a lot of young people that are considering this option of college. And what I had to, what it came down to for me was I was like, the only reason I'm going to do this MBA thing, really, when I actually am dead earnest and honest with myself, is I am protecting plan B. In other words, if this whole business entrepreneurship thing fails, if my landscaping business fails, the real estate fails, if my online stuff fails, if the webinar, I mean, the podcast fails, if the book fails, if all this stuff fails, I'll have plan B, and that's to get a corporate job with my MBA. But I just had to realize that in trying to create plan B, plan A was suffering. Because of all the time I was trying to put in this, get this stupid stack... The stats class done, because I had to make it up. Because of all that time, it was taking away from plan A. And because I was go not going all in on plan A by dropping this course, I like I just, I just came to the point where I was like, okay, I gotta finish. Like, I got, I'm done, so I just dropped. And uh, so I do not have an MBA anymore. Which, uh, for some of you, like, oh man, I can't get advice from him. Well, guess what? This is what I came out to. I looked at the average, the average pay of the people that come out of this MBA program that I'm in, that I was in, and I had to look at it and say, okay, I'm making X amount more than that, like a multiple of that dollar figure. So what's the point in finishing the program? Just to say I have MB an MBA, I'm never gonna go get a corporate corporate job. I'd be a horrible employee. So. Why would I want to get an MBA? So that's what I came down to me, made the decision, and uh, that's, like, I have no regrets. No regrets whatsoever. So, after that little tangent, let's go back to Sade and this question. So she says, I would love some advice on how to grow in business. I graduated in 2012 with my bachelor's in business administration. I work full-time for my father-in-law at State Farm Insurance, although eventually I want to work on my business and full-time from home and start a family. I formulated an organic anti-aging body butter that is effective and healthy. I want to expand my product line in the future, but need to make sales. I have some some customers, but not more than 10 per month. I started my online business less than a year ago, but I need some help. I listen to your podcast almost every day and so grateful for that, and it has helped me, but I am still stuck. I want to set up a booth somewhere to get the information to people because I know if they knew about the product, they would be all about it. Trade shows are so expensive. What should I do? Sincerely, Sharday. Sharday. First of all, I did. Work, I worked at State, State Farm Insurance when I was 15. Most people don't know that. But that's where I kind of cut my teeth on sales. Little hidden fact there. I don't think I have it on my LinkedIn profile. I worked there for a year. And uh, as a 15-year-old selling 60-year-old life insurance, that's got to be a good sales pitch. And I did it. So 
So I learned how to sell there. So anyways, State Farm, so you work there great. So for you formulate an organic anti-aging body butter that is effective and healthy, but you're only selling 10 per month. I checked out your web shart, website, Sharday. It's okay. Um, but I wouldn't worry too much about your website right now. You need to make sales. And yes, you can make your sales online. That's really where I think you should go. But you've got to generate something around it. Like, I, I read your story, and it's kind of like the, 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 the quintessential...